Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Okay so recently I did a video on how to install and upgrade your old Minecraft launcher into the new improved Minecraft launcher and I know some of you have watched that video, however some people have faced problems when installing the Forge mod installer and as you guys can see I am getting an error message which I've tried to replicate and I know some of you have been experiencing this error message as well and once you do upgrade to the new Minecraft launcher and you try to install Forge for the first time, you may encounter this error message and it does say the directory is missing a launcher profile. Please run the Minecraft launcher first and it shows the directory where Minecraft would be installed. Now, some of you might look at that and think, okay, so I've got Minecraft installed in that directory already and why isn't it working? And you might even click on OK and it's going to come up with this message. As you guys can see, it says there is no Minecraft launcher profile at and it gives you the actual address. And this is basically the default Minecraft directory where Minecraft installs all of his game files in and it says you need to run the launcher first. So the very first thing I would actually recommend to do after you've upgraded your Minecraft launcher and then you've got your new improved Minecraft launcher is to actually run the Minecraft launcher and actually play the game for the first time. So you have to click on play and make sure that the game loads up just the one time so it can load up all of the game files into the Minecraft directory. So what I've actually done is I've deleted all of my game files and this is a fresh installation. So as you guys can see it is actually asking me to log in so I'm going to go ahead and click on Microsoft login over here and it should bring up this Xbox live screen and it's recognized me from my previous login which I used to log into the Xbox live services so now I'm going to click on let's play and it should actually load up the launcher properly and I will get the option to play Minecraft. So do make sure that you are logged in to Xbox Live with the email address that you purchased Minecraft with. So as you guys can see I'm now in the Minecraft launcher and it's got the three different options here. It says Minecraft Java Edition, Minecraft for Windows and Minecraft Dungeons. And if we go to installations we can also see that it says latest release 1.17.1. So the very first thing what you guys need to do is actually you click on play and what that's going to do is actually download the game so as you guys can see it now says downloading and it's a 400 megabyte file on my system so it's going to take a while depending on your internet speed and it's going to download all of the game files so when you do upgrade the minecraft launcher or if you have installed the minecraft launcher from scratch and it's a fresh install do make sure that you click on play where it says latest release so it actually downloads all of these game files so i'm going to come back once this download is finished and I'll show you what to do next. All right, so the game files have finished downloading and it's now launching the game. So once you click on play and it finishes, downloading the 400 megabytes of data for the game it should launch the game so as you guys can see i'm now inside the game this is a vanilla based game it says minecraft version 1.17.1 at the bottom there so i know that minecraft is working as it should so i'm going to close this down i'm going to go back into the minecraft launcher and just wait for that to now load up all right so now we know that i have played the latest release at least one time and it would have created the game files one thing you guys might notice that even after doing that if you open up the forge installer it might still come up with this message and when you click on ok it's going to come up with this message now what we need to do is actually pay close attention to this message because it is telling us what file it needs to load for it to work. So as you guys can see, it says there is no Minecraft launcher profile at, and it says the C drive, and it's got the app data roaming Minecraft directory there, and it's looking for this file, which is actually launcher underscore profiles dot json. So as you guys can see, this is the file name that we need to look out for. So I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to go back into my launcher. I'm just going to highlight the latest release line here. So make sure that you are in the installation section. Highlight the section that says latest release and then click on this folder icon like so. It's going to open up your default Minecraft game directory. Now, if you look inside this folder you will notice several different files there and one of the files that we do need to pay attention to is this one so as you guys can see we've got launcher profiles and then it says microsoft underscore store dot json so what we need to do to correct that issue where 
Forge at the moment is looking for the old type of files. Basically, this is the kind of installation that Forge would have been made for prior to this new improved launcher. And to fix that, what we need to do is right click on this file, click on the copy icon, or if you guys are on Windows 10, just click on copy. And then we need to paste it back into this folder. So click on the paste icon like so so you will notice that i've now got a file that says launcher underscore profiles underscore microsoft underscore store and then it says copy and what we now need to do is right click on this file i'm going to actually rename this file so i'm going to click on the rename icon here so let me actually show you guys i'm going to click on show more options i'm going to click on rename and i'm going to get rid of the bit that says microsoft store and the copy bit as well so it should just say launcher underscore profile so just hit delete on your keyboard and then hit the enter key on your keyboard so you should have a file now that says launcher underscore profiles dot json and this is the file that forge is basically looking for when it does the installation process now we can go ahead and close this down we can also go ahead and close down our launcher and now if i try to run the forge installer it should automatically locate that file and as you guys can see it's not showing me that error message now so it's located that file which it needs i can now hit the ok button which is going to start the installation for forge and it's going to download a couple of files it's going to go through the whole installation process there and it's going to say building processes at the top there and you will have to wait for that to actually finish so let's go ahead and wait for that to finish and I'll be right back. All right, so as you guys can see, it now says complete. It says successfully installed client profile forge for version 1.17.1. And this is the one of the up-to-date versions of forge, which is the 37.0.103 of the forge version. And the problem what was happening is that the creators of Forge actually made their installer for the old Minecraft launcher and now that they know that it's going to basically look for that file they can update Forge and hopefully that should work once the new versions of Forge start coming out. Now if I go back into my Minecraft launcher we can actually play the Forge installation. So let's go ahead and create a new installation for Forge. So let's wait for that to load up. Now I can click on installations. I can now click on new installation over here here. and if I click on this drop down where it says version you will notice it does say release 1.17.1 dash forge dash 37.0.103 and let's just call this forge for now I'm going to click on create and we do have a forge installation here now created which we can click on play let's actually go ahead and test out a mod that works with this as well so i'm going to download a journey map this is a really cool mod if you guys haven't checked it out do check this one out i'm going to click on download so let's wait for this download to finish and then i'll put this file on my desktop and i'll show you guys how to install that and then play the game with this file all right so i've put the journey map mod file on my desktop here so let's go back into our uh, minecraft launcher hover over any one of these lines in the installation section click on the folder icon and by now i think some of you might already know how to install mods but for those of you who are doing this for the first time this is how you do it in this folder you probably notice that we don't actually have a folder called mods so right click on an empty space and then click on new click on folder and then just rename that to mods and then go inside that mods folder and then drag the jar file mod into that folder so as you guys can see i've now got journey map and i've got the mod file inside the mods folder so i can click on this close button here i can now go back into my minecraft launcher and finally we can launch forge hopefully this is going to launch forge and we are able to play the game with our forge mods as well so let's wait for this to do the downloading of the extra files and launch the game so let's wait for the game to now load up all right so as you guys can see us now loaded up the game and hopefully it should say forge beta on the top there because we are currently in the forge beta and we should be able to play the game with the mod as well so let's wait for this to now load up the game so we can actually go inside it and check out the mods all right there we go so now if i click on the mods button here we can see that it is showing journey map over here and we do know that that mod should work basically with forge and it does say forge beat on the top there as i mentioned earlier so let's go into a game let's go create it peaceful and allow cheats let's create a new world and let's see if it's actually loaded the game with the mod and forge is working as it should all right, so as you guys can see, I'm now inside the game and I do have that cool journey map mod installed. There, if I press J on my keyboard, we can see that we do have the journey map mod loaded here as well. As you guys can see, we do have that mini map there on the top right. And again, I'm going to go back into my 
main map this is the world map so i can actually zoom out and zoom in and create waypoints and all that cool stuff that journey map has to offer so i can actually now play the game with mods using forge so if you guys were having problems using the forge installer and you were getting that really annoying message where it says the directory is missing a launcher profile please run the minecraft launcher first and it would actually give you the default minecraft directory and have that error message so hopefully this would resolve your issues so any of you who have tried to install forge and we're getting that issues hopefully this should have solved that problem if you do have any comments or queries about this issue do leave them in the comment section below if you enjoyed the video please do give us a like and also please do subscribe to this channel to help support to help it grow and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching